Yeah, growing up uh, around Lake Lawarra, it was like roaming free. We'd done just whatever we wanted to do, and everybody else done the same. Pocky was a, a little, little white cockatoo. He was a real character. My mum used to be in the, on the Mondays, she'd be doing all the laundry washing with an old copper, and that was at the back of the shop. And when a customer came in the shop, Cocky would call out, Shop Mrs. Graham, Shop Mrs. Graham, and uh, then he would start talking to the customer. He'd say, you Want a cup of tea, love? Want a cup of tea? When we was having breakfast of the morning, Cocky would come up the, our back steps, walk in, he said, Hello, love, hello, love. Cocky wants a cup of tea. So we'd give him half milk and half tea, very almost cold, and he would just sip that out of the cup. And he'd always say, thanks, love. He never, he was never caged once. He was never tied up. He just walked freely around our yard for 20 to 25 years. The old cow was like a house cow. We called her Bonnie. And uh, she was a, a beautiful a, a strawberry roan, like a, a reddish brown with a mottle. I would just get up of a morning, I would milk her and uh, take the milk inside and Bonnie, she'd walk out that yard and she'd just f look for green pastures. One day she walked right to Shell Harbour. That was three miles away from Lake Lawarra. 2.30 to 3 o'clock she would start walking home. I would come home from school and I would just go looking for Bonnie. I'd be walking down the street and I'd say, oh, you're looking for Bonnie, Bonnie? Yeah, I've seen it near so-and-so. Well, I would go and find her and then we'd bring her home. On a Saturday or Sunday, I'd be milking her late and there might be three or four or five of my young friends. <clears throat> Some would sit on the back and all kids around Lake Lawai all had a turn milking her. And uh, they patted her and they, some of the girls just to kiss her. She was absolutely a beautiful old cow. She would never had a leg rope on or anything like that. We all roamed free in those days.